Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to do comparisons with the logical AND operator. <clears throat> this just means uh, that, uh, that two values are true. Sometimes you will need to test more than one thing at a time. The logical AND operator, which is uh, signified by two ampersands, returns true if only the operands to the left and to the right are true. The same effect could be achieved by nesting an IF statement inside another IF statement. So they're saying, like, if the number is greater than 5, and if the number is greater than 10, it's going to be yes. So if you were to pass into this function, the number 8, you would get a return of yes. But if you did 1 or 11, you'd get a no. This will, on this will return yes if the number is greater than 5 and less than 5. Okay, yeah. This is another way of writing it. This is this is a, the initial function, and then this would be a refactored function. If the number is greater than 5 and the number is less than 10, greater than 5, less than 10, same exact thing, return yes, otherwise return no. So this is just a refa refactoring of code, essentially. Though, this is, is used very commonly. So what they, we want to do is combine the two if statements into one statement that will return yes if the val is less than or equal to 50, and greater than or equal to 25, otherwise return no. Okay, great. Um, so... We want to test this logical value. So what they're actually doing, oh, this is really cool. We're actually going to refactor a function here. Um, so if the value is less than 50 and the uh, value is greater than or equal to 25, return yes. Um, and I think this will pass the test. It should return yes if it is 50 as well. Interesting. Oh, so it says less than or equal to 50. Okay, got it. So we just make this less than or equal to 50. Cool. Now let's take a quick look at this. Uh, console. Console.log. So I'm just reading out the results of this uh, situation. So it's saying, is 10 less than 50, less than or equal to 50 and greater than or equal to 25? The answer is no. So it's returning no. So what it's saying is, we're running this function and then the value is 10. If the value 10 is less than or equal to 50, yes. Is 10 also greater than 25? No, it's not. So we don't execute this code. We just come down and return no. Now let's uh, do this again, but do it with a a uh, number uh, which will fit in between uh, a number that's less than 15 and 25. So we'll call that 40. This should return yes. So what's happening here? The value is 40. So we're coming in here. If the value, if 40 is less than or equal to 50, this renders true because 40 is less than 50. And then the value is greater than or equal to 25. This renders true because 40 is greater than 25. Then we return yes. And then we exit the function. And that's why we only see yes. Um, if I were to delete this, we wouldn't see that no above it. So I hope this helps. Um, I think that that'll continue to pass the tests. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.